In this video, we review the different additions and service channels available with Windows servers. There are a few different versions of Windows Server available, and if you deploy a Windows Server to Azure, you may wonder what's the difference between Windows Server and Windows Server Azure Edition. In this video, we review some of the key differences between different versions of Windows Server. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend, click the bell icon for notifications of new content, and check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365 and Intune Management, Hybrid Identities with Windows 80 and Enter ID, and my latest course, A Beginner's Guide to the AZ900, available at udemy.com. Links are below, and thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, when we review the different versions such as Server 2022 and 2025, along with the different additions and service channels, there are quite a few different feature combinations available. Coming up, we're going to review these versions and additions so we know what's the best option for a deployment. The following information is limited to Server 2022 and 2025. Also, the goal is to target key features only. If you think something's been left out, please let me know in the comments. You can find a link to a full comparison below. Let's start with service channels. Windows Server currently has two service channels, the long-term service channel and the annual channel. The long-term service channel aligns with traditional Windows release cycles with ongoing security and update releases. The annual channel for containers has more frequent releases that focus on innovations related to containers and microservices. The long-term servicing channel includes a major version release every two to three years and offers five years of mainstream support and five years of extended support. The annual channel is released about every 12 months and this is a full release, not an upgrade. Each requires a clean install and can only be installed with the server core option. It comes with 24 months of support that includes 18 months of mainstream support and six months of extended support. The long-term servicing branch is available with all licensing programs and annual channel is only available for software assurance customers or through a loyalty program, such as a Visual Studio subscription. As you probably figured out, use long-term servicing channel for those traditional general purpose applications that don't change much. SQL Server, SCCM, or a custom application, for example. As the name implies, the annual channel for containers allows organizations to rapidly take advantage of new innovations with container and microservices. The annual channel release is only available with Server 2022 and newer. Let's move on to Windows Server Standard and Data Center next. There are a few differences to be aware of with these two additions. With Standard, we can run one Hyper-V host with two VMs per license. With Data Center, we can run one Hyper-V host and unlimited VMs. Standard is limited to two isolated containers while Data Center is unlimited. For Windows Server containers, both are unlimited when run on Windows Server, but Standard, again, is limited to two containers in Hyper-V. Storage replicas are limited to one partnership, one resource group, and up to two terabytes of storage with standard data center has unlimited storage replicas. Storage Spaces Direct, a software-defined storage virtualization technology, is only supported by data center. Also, Network Controller, a software-defined network virtualization feature, is only available with data center. And I want to point out that the new hot patch service is available on Arc-enabled Windows servers 2025 standard and data center. This feature is in preview at the time of recording. Next, let's move on to Windows Server Data Center compared to Windows Server Data Center Azure Edition, or let's just call it Azure Edition. Data Center is available with all supported versions of Windows Server. Azure Edition is only available on Server 2022 and 2025. Data Center is updated with each major release. Azure Edition gets updates every year delivered with Windows updates. Azure Edition is a version of Windows Server Data Center focused on innovations and virtualization optimization in Azure. It brings new functionality to Azure VMs yearly rather than with new releases like Data Center. Both Data Center and Azure Edition are part of the long-term service channel with five years mainstream support and five years of extended support. Although the OS gets updated yearly similar to the annual channel we first reviewed, Azure Edition is in the long-term service channel. As we went over previously, Data Center supports Hot Patch, the ability to patch servers without a reboot. That's available with Arc-enabled Server 2025 standard and Data Center only. The functionality is in preview at the time of recording. 
Azure Edition supports hot patching with Server 2022 and 2025. Data Center can be installed on physical or virtual servers. Azure Edition is virtual only, in Azure as you may assume. Data Center can be activated with the Key Management Server or KMS. Azure Edition is activated by Azure. The RAM supported is different between the two. Data Center can go up to four petabytes if five level paging is used. That extends the virtual memory addresses available to the processor. Azure Edition supports 240 terabytes on Gen 2 VMs. And finally, we have licensing. Data Center is available to all customers. Azure Edition is available to software assurance customers, customers with a Windows Server subscription, and cloud customers. And just a couple call outs before we end. Azure Edition supports SMB Quick. This is described as an SMB VPN that allows telecommuters, mobile device users, and branch offices to securely and reliably connect to the Edge file servers over untrusted networks. With Server 2022 Data Center Azure Edition and newer, storage replicas can be compressed between a source and destination server, reducing network traffic. And finally, Azure Edition comes with extended network for Azure. This feature allows us to stretch an on-premises subnet into Azure so on-premises virtual machines can keep their on-premises IP addresses when migrating to Azure. That is a summary of the different service channels, releases, and versions of Windows Server. I hope this helps you better understand which one best fits your deployment. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.